You want a GY6 Ruckus that looks like this on a budget? Check it. Super common question I always get asked, and honestly I've Googled it before before I knew how. How in the hell do you fit this tire on this rim? You got a 140, 70, 12 tire on an eight inch rim. Seems impossible to get any type of seal around it to bead the tire. Well, you don't need a big cheetah blaster like you see on some YouTube channels. That certainly helps and you don't need flames and lighters and things like that. You could do that, a little dangerous. You need a few things. You need soap and water, a valve core removal tool, which I'll show you what that is. You need three ratchet straps, an air compressor, and you can't forget patience. Tons of patience. You could do this though, with not a bunch of equipment like a tire center has. Let me show you how. Step one, soap and water. Spray the heck out of it. Okay, now, this is the easy part. You can just push the tire on. Also, be sure that your uh, direction of your tire is on correct before you get everything together. Another thing I didn't mention, duh, crucial part, you need tire spoons. I have tape on the end of these so we don't damage the rim. But let's get this on here. You can take your tire spoons and slowly work it. I don't want to put a lot of pressure. And then the goal is to uh, have this end of the tire in the gap, right? There's a gap in the tire. So just make sure you get that on there real nice. Now you can unscrew your valve stem. A lot of uh, valve caps have this valve stem remover tool. If not, you'll have to go to an automotive store and get one. So I just put it on backwards and then I'll unscrew it. See, I pulled that valve core out. When I fill the tire up, I'm gonna use one of these. Just stick it in there and push. This is the like an air nozzle for a, the air compressor. You just have to be ready to install that quickly when the air goes gets put into the tire and the tire is beaded. So I kind of put it like that to the side. So as you can see, I've got my three ratchet straps on here. I've got it pretty well sealed. I'm probably gonna have to like push, pull. This is still not gonna be easy. I'll go a little tighter. Um, so I've got all these. And then I've got my valve stem tool here ready for whenever this thing airs up. So got my air hose. I'm just gonna go like this. Just This will be a quick one. It's of course, best if somebody helps you. All right, so it's got air in it. I'm actually going to uh, put my valve stem in here, my valve core. A ton of air is going to leak out when I do this. You got to do it quick. There we go. I've got enough air in here now that I could. I need to spray some soap and water. So the bead pops easily. Okay. Make sure your fingers are nowhere near where it's gonna pop because that would hurt. When you know you have a ton of uh, pressure in there, you can just let it sit outside in the sun or near a, a little heater. It'll pop eventually. You don't wanna put tons of pressure in there. Here's a little report. Uh, the heater on the tire, it's almost beaded, you can see. Just have a little bit more to go. And the other side, long ways to go, but I don't have the heater over on that side. There we went. And then we got the other side still. Keep your finger away from the wheel part. All right, it's been sitting in front of the heater for a little bit now. Let's see if we can get this thing popped. 
There it goes. Now just set your tire pressure. Holy sh... And don't use a Chinese uh, piece of crap uh, tire pressure reader PSI gauge. That thing got destroyed.